Today we will be showing you how to extract a tape from a half-height IBM LTO tape drive. This tape extraction procedure will work for all generations of half-height IBM LTO drives. Please be advised, this is for extraction of a tape from a defective tape drive only. Removing the tape from the drive will not fix a faulty drive, and the drive itself will still need to be replaced. You will start by using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four screws holding the top cover on. Then, once the screws have been removed, you can use a small screwdriver to undo the faceplate clips and remove the faceplate, and then pull the top cover straight up to carefully remove it and set it to the side. At this point, you will need to choose if you want to rewind the tape all the way into the cartridge, or if you just want to cut the tape. If you want to rewind the tape all the way, keep watching from here. If you just want to cut the tape and remove it, please skip ahead in this video. To ensure that the tape is rewound all the way, you will need to insert a Phillips screwdriver into the bottom of the drive and ensure it engages the front spool. Turn the screwdriver clockwise to retract all of the tape media into the cartridge until the tape becomes taut and the spool will not turn any further. You will now need to locate the black gear at the rear of the drive and rotate it clockwise repeatedly. This will disengage the arm from the rear spool and begin feeding the tape leader around towards the front of the drive. As the slack on the tape leader is let out, you will want to stop occasionally and put the screwdriver into the bottom of the drive and engage the front spool and pull the additional slack into the tape cartridge. Once the tape leader is in view, you can take a small screwdriver and pop the barbell off the leader out of the tape drive arm and free it. Then insert your screwdriver into the bottom of the drive and turn clockwise to take up the rest of the slack, pulling all of the tape media into the cartridge. Now you will need to locate the horizontal gear on the front right side of the drive and rotate it upwards repeatedly. You will see the tape drive deck start to raise upwards and then the tape cartridge will be pushed gently out. Continue rotating the gear until it will not go any further. This will ensure that the cartridge is fully pushed out. You can then remove the tape cartridge from the drive. If you decided you want to cut the tape on the drive, please pull out some slack carefully and use a pair of scissors to cut the tape media. Then. Locate the gear on the front right side of the drive. Rotate the gear upwards repeatedly to raise the deck up and push the tape cartridge outwards. Continue to rotate the gear until it will not go any further. This will ensure that the cartridge is fully pushed out. You can then remove the tape cartridge from the drive. You will then need to take the other end of the media that is on the rear spool and pull out any slack until the tape is taut. Then you can locate the gear in the left of the drive and rotate it clockwise repeatedly while keeping tension on the tape until the leader is visible. Then you can use a screwdriver to pop the barbell out of the tape drive arm. The extraction is now complete. If you are returning the defective drive as a core exchange to the rocket platform, you do not need to reassemble the drive. Simply place the top cover back on the drive and ensure that all screws and other small parts are included in the anti-static bag with the drive before shipping it back to us. If you have any further questions about tape extraction from half-height IBM LTO tape drives, please reach out to us at support at therocketplatform.com.